Welcome to Beauty and the Biz. Discover how to grow your practice with effective cosmetic patient attraction, conversion, and retention advice from author, speaker, trainer, and cosmetic practice business and marketing coach, Catherine Maley, MBA. Hello, and welcome to Beauty and the Biz, where we talk about the business and marketing side of plastic surgery. I'm your host, Catherine Maley, author of Your Aesthetic Practice and consultant to plastic surgeons to get them more patients and more profits. Now, I've spent my career helping plastic surgeons grow their cosmetic revenues, and that never changes. But what does change are the tactics to making that happen. So here's an update. We have a new approach to growing your cosmetic revenues that's working better than anything else we've done in the past three years. In a nutshell, it's a patient attraction, conversion, and retention system all rolled into one, and the ROI has been insane at over 2,000%. Now, we get these results without discounting or spending more on advertising or hiring more staff. So in this week's podcast of Beauty and the Biz, I interviewed Sharon Thompson from the Thompson Plastic Surgery Center in New Jersey, very competitive area, to talk about how this strategy has grown their own practice. Enjoy. Hello, Bailey, author of Your Aesthetic Practice, and we've got a new approach to grow cosmetic revenues for plastic surgery practices. And in a nutshell, it's a patient attraction, conversion, retention system, all built into one. And we do all of the marketing for you and all the work for you. So it's very easy on the practice to um, uh, in, 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 initiate this into their practice. So I invited Sharon Thompson of the Thompson Plastic Surgery Center of New Jersey to come on and talk about her own experience with this new strategy and how it's built her own practice. So Sharon, thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, it's great to be here. And I love to talk about uh, the KISS program. It's been working so great for us ever since we launched it. I really appreciate your time. And I'm not going to take a ton of it, but because I know you run a busy practice, but can you just start out by saying, describe your practice? Sure. Uh, Well, Dr. Thompson is a solo practitioner. Um, He's been in practice for 20 years, and uh, he had been in another practice for about nine years, and then 11 years ago decided to go off on his own, um, asked me, hey, can you help me open up a new practice? And and I didn't know a whole lot about it, but I was very excited, and and here we are 11 years later, and uh, it's been wonderful. Is it, you're in New Jersey, is it a super competitive area of New Jersey? It is, it is. And not only are there a lot of other, you know, plastic surgeons, dermatologists in our area, uh, but there's also a lot of med spas um, and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of competition around us. Um, but I think the most important thing is just to differentiate yourself um, and, you know, be, be good to your patients, you know, get that patient retention. And then, you know, they keep coming back year after year and refer their family and friends, which is really what it's all about. I say that all the time. Plastic surgeons always tell me, when we talk about competition, they always tell me, oh, I'm um, about the other plastic surgeons in their area. And it's just so much more than that because a patient who wants to look good can now go to a plastic surgeon, a dermatologist, an internist, a med spa, and it goes on and on. So I'm glad you're realizing that and, um, and you're doing something about it. So tell me, how did KISS get on your radar? It's called the KISS Rewards Club. How did that get on your radar and what made you say yes to it? Sure. So it's something that I had seen your emails about um, over time and it always intrigued me. Um, I've known about you for years since we opened up the practice. You were actually really good help uh, to me personally and to our office uh, when we were opening the practice. As you know, as I said before, I didn't have any experience prior to 11 years ago when we opened. So reading your books um, and, you know, your CDs and scripts and, you know, all that stuff really helped me a lot. So I got your emails and um, the Kiss Rewards program was really focused on uh, uh, patient retention and reaching out to those existing patients rather than um, throwing a big net out onto the internet or, you know, something more of a a, a bigger advertising investment. This was not a a, um, break the bank investment. Um, but it's made a lot of sense to me for so many reasons. And so I said, let's give it a try. And I'm glad that we did. Thank you so much. How was the onboarding for you? Because a lot of the practices say, oh, I can't add anything else. The front yes. desk is saturated. Um, how, did, how was that for you? 
Right, right. So that was a very simple process. I was very nervous about that too. Mm-hmm. Uh, But the team of yours that I worked with, everyone was very um, easy to work with, uh, got everything done. Any questions that I had, um, they were very responsive, got got back to me right away. And it was very seamless and smooth. Um, So um, I I highly recommend and and don't I I, I think that um, people uh, practice it shouldn't be afraid of um, the onboarding process because that was very simple. Great. Now, what? benefits are you getting from the Kiss Rewards Club? And I know one of them you said, I love that it changed the conversation with my patients. Can you talk about that? Yes, definitely. Um, I'm sure all of, you know, practices get the same kinds of phone calls. You know, do you have any specials? Mm -hmm. What specials do you have? And, you know, it's um, not that we still don't have specials, but we don't, we've reduced the number of specials. We'd rather build value as opposed to offering discounts. You know, that's what we would prefer to focus on. And this enables us to do that. So um, so that conversation, if somebody calls, you know, do you have any specials? You can go right into the conversation about KISS Rewards. And and it's great, you know, it, and it's an easy way to um, say yes uh, and just kind of, you know, go into more detail about it. And people get excited about it. They love collecting things and then redeeming things. It just feels nice. You know, people are really enjoying that. That's exactly what the psychology was behind this. It's not your typical rewards program. It's more about collecting kisses. And that's another thing. It keeps you out of trouble. You're not doing any fee splitting. You're not giving anybody money for referrals. But it's literally um, every dollar equals a kiss. And then you collect kisses to then uh, get free Botox fillers or lasers. And so typically this is for non-surgical procedures because the writing's on the wall. It is so competitive now and the market is so saturated that how are you going to enter this marketplace by lowering your price? So then you have to deal with that in the marketplace. Well, then what do you do? do? You lower your price too, or do you add more value? And that's what um, you have such a step ahead of everybody else or in the area who's new and up and coming because you already have a patient list who knows, likes, and trusts you. So I just, it's so logical to me. You can still do external marketing, but please, the easier, faster, cheaper way is to hang on to the patients you already spent a fortune to get in the first place. <laughs> so yeah, it was a natural fit for us. Mm-hmm. It really was. Well, you also but have I, very good customer yeah. service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, wouldn't you say that's also super helpful? It can't, I mean, I can't work with a practice where they don't care about customer service. They have that one and done mentality and you don't. Right. You're a very friendly kind of practice. Um, yeah. Was it always like that, or well, you are pretty friendly. Yeah. You know? Did you have it's to learn always, that? <laughs> it's always been like that. It's always been about uh, relationships uh, since the minute we opened the door, and even prior to that, because uh, as I said, Dr. Thompson was in another practice for nine years prior to opening this one, and a lot of his patients came over and followed him, which I thought was was fantastic. You know, we we love that, and we welcome them, and um, you know, and the same holds true with new patients that have come along. Um, you know, from we get phone calls from. I mean, especially since we reopened after um, the you know pandemic closure and everything like that, mm-hmm. um, a lot of patients from many many years ago have surfaced, and that's been wonderful too. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, um, we we welcome we welcome new patients, existing patients, family, friends. You know, but yes, it's all about uh, uh, relationship. It's not the as opposed to the one and done. Definitely, that's not what we um, are about. You know, um, one of the features is we are sending emails and social posts. We're doing all the marketing because here's the goal to take a patient who likes you and turn them into a rabid fan. And too many practices assume, and we all know what that means, assume that their patients, of course, they'll refer. Of course, they'll return. There's no of course anymore. You really have to have a strategy to build those golden handcuffs around a patient so they actually do talk about you on social, in their, at a barbecue, when talking to a friend. You can't assume any of that because it doesn't, people are so busy today and so saturated with information that your marketing strategy is not on your plan. So the goal of KISS was to get your patients to Uber, you know, refer or Uber right. return and just step it all up. I'm sorry, my dog's barking. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, so, like, yeah. 
So we don't have a dog here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a lot of real time. Okay, we're just gonna whittle through and hopefully he stops. Um, so, so Cher, were there any benefits that, oh, let, let me back up. Another thing KISS does, here was another point. It was to reward your patients for good behavior, more or less, because that's what we all have been programmed to, to do, like get gold stars, so we give kisses. Um, have you noticed, though, like what they say to you, things like, um, oh, I refer a friend to you now, or um, I post yeah. you on social because I've noticed your yeah, numbers. That, that, absolutely. But someone, uh, I believe, got one of, just recently, within the last week, received the email that came from, you know, the program, not one that I sent. I still send monthly emails, mm -hmm. but they're um, supplemented with uh, the emails that come from the KISS program. Mm -hmm. So a patient just received an email and thought, hey, I, I, I love it there. I, I can do a review. And it prompted her. Um, and immediately, as soon as I got that notification, I went and I issued those, those uh, KISS rewards to her. And then she called, you know, the next day and booked her appointment, which was wonderful, you know, and she, you know, had been planning on coming anyway, mm -hmm. but this was just that little boost, that little extra, like, oh, hey, it, you know, I, I can get a reward. And, and she got excited about it. So, well, you know, and it was her birthday. Oh, there you go. We send the birthday to you get 100 kisses on your birthday. Um, psychologically, right. there's a thing about us completing things. So we, um, when you, when we welcome somebody to the KISS program, we give them 100 kisses to start and that compels them to want to get more kisses to get to the end result, which is like 1,000 kisses for Botox, 3,000 kisses for filler, 5,000 kisses for laser. And um, just to note, um, it's optional, but it's really for non-surgical procedures because that's what we were trying to grow. However, we have an element that you take advantage of and they can get an automatic 1,000 kisses, which equals one area of Botox, if they have surgery, if they complete surgery. Has that been beneficial to you to, to like have that little carrot? Yes, yes, I think so, because in some patients will come initially just, you know, just for surgery. Um, others will start as injectable patients and then work their way to surgery, and others the other way around. And some just come for surgery and that's it, but this allows them to then consider, oh, hey, wait, I have a thousand kisses available to me. You know, this is, let's say it's, you know, a month or two after their surgery. Maybe I will get Botox. Maybe they've never had it before, but at least now they have more of an interest um, or say, hey, let's give it a try. Um, and then, you know, they may continue and keep up with it. It's too soon for me to um, comment on that because it's, um, you know, we're still in the new launch period, but I can see from conversations with patients that it is going to be something that's going to work really well for us. Okay. For Absolutely. After doing this for 20 years, here is something I do know as a cosmetic patient. I am one, so I partake in this quite a bit, but somebody who wants to look good, today they wanted, let's say, a tummy tuck. Like today, that was their focus. Especially a female will then go on to the next body part that she has trouble with. Um, the goal right. is to, happens all the time. <laughs> the goal is to keep them going up and down that ladder. Today it's a tummy tuck, tomorrow it's Botox, then we're off to a filler, now I need a blast. It really is never ending for, that's the part I love about our industry. We have um, a, an audience who has that vanity plug, that, that vanity thing in them, um, and that never ends, especially with the aging process. Yeah. Yes, we have a wide, such a wide range of patients age-wise, uh, you know, patients who are doing, you know, say lip fillers and, and maybe a little bit of Botox are starting maybe in their late 20s, mm -hmm. um, and then all the way up through 70s and even 80s, um, so, and everywhere in between. So there's, um, you know, a, a, a treatment or a procedure that can help everyone at, in some way. All right, that's terrific. And so it really, like the results that you have gotten have been fantastic. Um, we've also had a social media piece for this. And it was yeah. so interesting because your social media, um, it depends on what your, your um, husband's doing because he's, really, he's really funny on social media. So he can get a, a lot of likes on his own, but we need more than that because he's not always around. So we provide right. a lot of social posts for you. And that has, um, that's helped tremendously with your likes and your shares. Um, have you yes, noticed that we, as well? We mix it up. We don't do all just one kind of post. We like to mix it up and in incorporating 
the social media posts about the KISS rewards has really brought a lot of awareness and just kind of reinforcement about the program. And um, again, it's only been a few months, so I think it's only going to get more and more, um, you know, uh, well known about, you know, what it's all about. It and it builds, it, right. It builds on itself, by the way. Um, the yes. longer we do this, the more referrals you'll get. I hope everyone's clear about this isn't just retaining patients. This is also let your patients bring your new patients to you via their friends. That's, That's right. the easiest. That it, who's better to convert? A absolute stranger patient who doesn't know you from Adam or that patient who says, Sarah recommended or Sarah referred you to me and, and she's just had great things to say about Dr. Thompson. So I, you know, I want what she had kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. And then they, and then I say, you know, thank you. And they get their kiss rewards and then they get all excited about it. And, you know, they would, they would refer people in the past, but now I see an increase in, um, in numbers. That's the whole point. Anybody who would do it before will do it more. And anybody right. who wasn't even thinking about do it, doing it will now start doing it. That's the yeah, whole point. That's right. Um, so you know what? Um, there's some some of the objections are I already use the vendor rewards program, so why would I add this one? Can you just mention that or talk on that? Yeah, sure. It, it's great. Um, I just yesterday at, at um some a patient was checking out and she had really distinctions points and she had kiss rewards and she was so happy at at everything that you know she was saving. She had I think wow she had a lot. She had about two hundred and twenty dollars worth of brilliant distinctions points. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she had a hundred free units of Botox. So she, it was, it was like a holiday. For her. She was very, very happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so they work well together. It, it doesn't have to be exclusive um, and it doesn't take much more time. You know, you issue the brilliant distinctions points, you issue the kiss rewards. It takes seconds. It's yeah. not more than that. And just a distinction between us and them, um, brilliant distinctions, a patient can use that at any practice. And our program, it can only be used at your practice. That's so right. We're That's trying to very important. Yes, mm -hmm. very important. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say about KISS or, or in general, like marketing? Do you think it has decreased your advertising costs yet increased your results? Yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, we um, haven't done an analysis yet because, again, it's a little bit early. Um, but we don't do a huge amount of other kinds of advertising. We did um, back uh, uh, in previous times. We had done some local commercials and things like that, streaming. Uh, but we haven't done that in since March. Mm -hmm. And we still have a lot of, of things going on, a lot of referrals. So we really haven't felt the change of not investing that way and investing this way we were doing both before so we still um you know our, i think it's a very effective uh way of marketing um maybe in the future we may go back to other things but right now my my focus is on uh marketing to to our current patients um giving them the incentives through the kiss rewards and um, i'm excited to see to you know after you know at the end of the year to see how successful I read the reports that you send, and that's another great thing I want to bring up. Mm -hmm. um, that those those monthly reports you can actually see. You know, it's not just guessing. Oh yeah, we got you know this many calls, or oh yeah, I think this ad is working, or I think this billboard is working. This is really you know concrete because you can see exactly how many referrals, how many um, uh, surgeries, how many. Um, uh, Google uh, reviews, that's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. It's just everything is there. So um, it makes it really easy to see uh, how it's working for each practice. And uh, so just to add to that, it's not just numbers, it's names. Like we are tracking yes. the heck out of this. We, we know who those Uber patients are and we're telling you who, well, you know too, but we put it in writing right. and we're watching the patient's behavior. And that just tells yes. you so much about your practice, your customer service, um, it just, it, it's good intel, you know? Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. so I, I really recommend it. And, um, and I thank you for, uh, for coming up with such a great idea <laughs> thank you. And, uh, and sharing it. I really appreciate having you as a partner because that's how I look at this. We are partnering to grow your cosmetic revenues and the numbers are just going to keep getting better. <laughs> so thanks, Sharon. I really appreciate it and have a great day. Thanks, you too. Thanks. Okay, that's just one practice's experience partnering with us and the KISS Club. And it's interesting to note 
that Sharon only gave us a list of 700 of her patients to test out, and she still got amazing results. The point being, you can have a small list of 700 or a huge list of 30,000. Either way, you get great results. So if the KISS Club sounds like a good approach to growing your own practice, I'd like to speak with you to see if you're a good fit. Feel free to leave me a message at katherinemaley.com or DM me at Catherine Maley MBA. Thanks so much and talk soon. We hope you found valuable insight on this episode of Beauty in the Biz. For more episodes, tools, and Catherine's free book, visit www.catherinemaley.com. That's www.c-a-t-h-e-r-i-n-e-m-a-l-e-y.com. And be sure to subscribe to get the latest practice building strategies delivered to you. And don't forget to share this Beauty in the Biz podcast with your staff and colleagues.